welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Aquarian Sun Moon Horizon sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration this month of June is the energy of an heart energy this is a wonderful positive month some of you could be receiving help from the Virgos so um, if you have Virgo family member or friends um, you can go check out their readings the energy of balance comes in in this month and it's really bringing balance to a lot of people lives. so please like share these videos thumbs up and um, let's check out the reading remember that this reading is another hour longer because um, we have on demand so use the link below below if you want to check out the on demand readings please like share these videos and listen to your sun moon and rising sign and let's see what is coming out for you aquarians in the month of june so i will already call in the angels of guides for the aquarians to come in the light beings mother mary and the angels of love to see what is coming out for you aquarians so what is coming up for the aquarians in this month you have the energy of inner strength in the first week and the energy of inner strength comes in the first week go check out the general reading because the energy of the tower is coming down in the first week so something is ending and leaving your life as an Aquarian in the first week okay the energy of the tower comes down down in the first week that has a general energy so whatever is transpiring it's affecting you Aquarians okay so you have to find inner strength however and whatever is transpiring in your life but you definitely in the first week is needed this inner strength because something is ending and something is leaving your life so you Aquarians be aware of that in the first week in the second week for the Aquarian Sun Moon and rising the energy of the tower comes down so maybe you are feeling that energy in the um, first week so in the second week another fire energy for you Aquarians comes in and this is why the general energy of the month is the heart energy because whatever is happening in the first and second week is that some of you the tower energy comes up and in the second week there could be situation to have to do with work or people in authority so be aware of this um, you Aquarians whatever is happening it's going to affect you with people in authority at work your boss or uh, the ending could be unexpectedly um your work has ended okay so be aware of that you aquarian so the energy of the devil is here some of you in the third week and um this energy of the devil comes up so we are going to be looking at what situation is it it could be that this situation is finally removed out of your life because the third week is the energy of the star and devil now your spirit guides and the third week should be your week but you're dealing with a situation you Aquarians in the third week the third week is the the week of the Aquarians but whatever you're dealing with is people out of influence that is uh, um, happening for you you Aquarians in the third week so be aware and understand that in the fourth week again a double whammy where the eye princess comes up in the general reading go check out the general readings you Aquarians because definitely definitely something is happening that is affecting you guys in the general reading because this energy this one for you guys is, 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 is as if something whatever that was going on if you were the one you Aquarians it's ending it is ending okay you have no um you aquarians be aware of this energy um in this month of june there is you have no stability okay you have no stability you aquarians um the hurt energy is balancing you out in the month of june you have no stability so be aware of whatever is transpiring okay so we are going to be using the Minda Arcana is to find out what exactly is transpiring to you, Aquarians. So, for the Aquarians, we have a situation where something is ending in, oh, okay, so a lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you, okay. All right, so they're saying to me, some of you Aquarians, justice comes up against you. Um, some of you, um vice versa you could be um coming up but 
with the energy because what we're having here is that justice came up against um, you younger people between the ages of 18 and 45 and you have received something but it's as if you don't want it but something is coming um, and justice comes up okay like all, all your energy came out so as we look at the situation between the first week and the second week with the energy of the tower for some of you you're going to be communicating and ending a situation for others it's going to be vice versa so what oh at, at all time it is the energy of vice versa that is playing for you guys so some situation um true communication you bring an end to a situation for some of you for some of you you're going to be using the sword of truth and some of you it's going to be used against you okay so it depends on what sort of a, um, energy vibration you bring out now this month is going to affect the people between the age of 18 and 45 can be older people but especially people between the ages of 18 and 45 because the tower there's a tower moment coming down for you uh, of young people um, this is the energy of the night so what is transpiring is that the energy of uh, something unexpectedly leaving your life for you young people you people between the ages of 18 and 45 there's something unexpectedly now this situation let me show you um, this situation it was not a healthy situation and it's going to be leaving your life this situation was not a healthy situation it's going to be leaving your life and you need to understand that uh, um, sometimes nothing lasts forever absolutely nothing lasts forever some of you could have been in um, someone bound you to a situation someone has bound you to a situation and what is transpiring is that definitely um, you're being released from the situation now the energy of the four of cups is here where in the third week going in the fourth weeks so because you're dealing with outside influence you or you could be sending outside influence okay the energy of the eye princess is a Pisces this is the energy of a Pisces coming in some of you were using lower energy to do your work and this is going to be ending some of you were using negative witchcraft whatever to do or work against someone but what you weren't aware of is this the person was like an eye princess nothing this person is from a total a different uh, um, soul family and each person is like everyone of different colors different culture different creed um, not what is from your soul family can hurt the other person and you have given out a lot of money to hurt someone but it didn't happen a lot of money um, because here you are moaning and groaning over how much you have given out to hurt this person and it didn't happen for some of you some of for some of you there was outside influence that was affecting you and it's as if you're going to be hey um, this isn't happening anymore um, you need to let this go and you need to walk away okay so you're listening some of you are listening to your intuition about a relationship or about some of you could be gotten caught up in a situation or a group of men a group of people and you're listening to your own intuition about it now what I'm seeing is that new love is definitely going to be coming in some of you sorry <coughs> sorry some of you could have been in a relationship and it's as if your child or your child's father wanted to take this child or the child was taken but it's as if the universe is returning this child and there's a lot of people there's a lot of situation that is falling it's like and 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 uh, it's, it's, it's as if some 
thing through the, the energy of you know standing up for injustice and inequality um, releasing something whatever is leaving your life something new and better is going to come in place it's as if this thing needed to leave your life okay in the third week some of you are going to be having and I think some some someone is watching this that is uh, um, uh, what do you call that um, they are having a problems with drugs with food can't say no you're being bounded on something it could be food it could be drugs it could be sex you name it fast car women whatever but you're bounded on something and it's as if the universe is giving you something it's as if um there's a situation with a child and a parents where the child you the child is um um is on drugs or uh, you know whatever it is that is not healthy because you have so much opportunities and like your parents are saying to you come home why are you out there with these people come home and they want to give you a better help and better stability and you don't want that you just don't want that and this is what I can't understand you just don't want that for whatever reasons you do not want that and what is going to transpire is that you know the universe is is, is as if they're trying your angels and guides and the spirit guides in the universe is trying to release you from a situation and to move a situation out of your way because it's, it's, it's this is this is like people who are who are you know on drugs and there is so much but it's as if you're not taking what is coming up the outcomes is a situation that has to be do with family and the regrets of a situation with family okay some of you are going to be coming out regretting but some of you are going to be coming out celebrating um, so it could be the end that your family is your child or someone close to you is off drugs your partner or whatever but it's as if this person is off drugs or this person is now aligning with their own energy or whatever that was transpiring in this person's life or your life it, this this it is bringing back love and happiness and joy so as we, we look at your reading we have the energy of strength and you're finding inner strength and you can be finding inner strength by communicating clearly and using um, st standing your ground with communication um, with about a child and communicating clearly and releasing this person because you need to find inner strength to deal with a situation it can be with your child or it can be with a new love that is coming in but whatever it is it's a family situation that is going to be affecting some of you and you need to deal with this because if you go back and listen to the general readings I did say that a lot of you are going to be reconnecting with families and healing situation between your parents parents children children parents definitely this month as an effect on the um, young people between the ages of 18 and 45 and whatever is ending your life there is going to definitely be a new start so there's going to be more multiple opportunities so if it's a relationship is ending a work situation is ending, school is ending whatever that is ending in your life in the month of June there's definitely going to be multiple opportunities that is coming in okay Remember, for a more in-depth reading, for a more in-depth reading, please, um, for a more in-depth reading, please check out uh, the the link below, because that link below is going to definitely align you with the positive energies to let you know what exactly is transpiring and what is going to be happening. There's definitely new love that is coming in. In the fourth week listen to your intuition and um, some of you receive something in the fourth week but you want something else and they're saying to you take this as you take this there will be more doors of opportunities that is going to be opening up and this is all they're saying because in the fourth week you were open and wishing for something and it's definitely coming in but it's as if 
there are more you're saying yeah there are more opportunities out there I want um, more out of life I I, I want to go drive that the Mercedes or I want to go drive the the Tesla and it's as if you're receiving hmm an Ayonde but it's as if you don't want the Ayonde and 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 um, the universe is saying listen um, we're, we're just testing you out try this out you never know you might like it okay and definitely um there are more opportunities some of you were given an opportunity or are going to be given an opportunity but you are thinking yeah but it's not paying that good or that you never know maybe you take the job that is not paying that good and somehow you cross part with someone else that is going to be opening such a more powerful door for you and I'm asking you guys before you close the door um, look and see what is going to be coming up do not close this door take this opportunity some of you are reconnecting with um, um, people from the past soul family and that sort of a thing from the past you're reconnecting with soul family from the past and you're receiving an opportunity um, some of you could be finding out uh, um, that there's multiple opportunities some of you are going to be releasing yourself out of a negative relationship that you have been in End this relationship and you're going to be realizing as you end this relationship a new love is going to be right on your doorstep basically right on your doorstep unbelievably you had never thought of this person and somehow it's going to be coming up some of you have some regret regret over a family situation okay you had hope that things would have worked out with the family much better you really have some regrets but um, with this regrets uh, with this family situation what you need to understand is that just give it time because in the future things are going to be working out okay so there was some regret with a family situation you had hope more is so it's a some of you could have gone to look for your um, um, adopted par birth parents and uh, um, you realize but your wishes and dreams are going to it's so it's, so it's just as if you're trying to find them but uh, but it's going to happen and it's going to like happen in the last week the month doesn't look like a real positive month but ladies and gentlemen sometimes these energy comes up so that we can align things and it's all about the people between the ages of 18 and 45 that things and even though whatever you were wishing and hoping for that the family reconnected it's gonna happen it's definitely going to happen and all of you are going to be connecting reconnecting and it's really going to be happening for you guys so do not give up on this situation whatever is transpiring just do not give up on the situation because it's definitely going to be happening okay just um, have faith have strength because definitely this situation is going to be working out in a positive but it is an alignment of either people who you're you're very uh, um, close to um, which are people from past family that you feel very close to you think that these people are like family to you or someone in a past lifetime but you'll be okay now whatever and definitely a relationship listen to the reading in the second week because there is going to be an ending to a relationship and then all of a sudden and someone new is going to be coming in your life just unexpectedly and some of you um, your partner could be walking away from your relationship don't worry because it's as if some alignment of energies is going to be coming in and it's going to be guiding you and aligning you in the right way and the right position in your life okay so this is going to be um, real positive and real good so um, understand that things happen for a reason and whatever the reason is definitely definitely um, you need to find out what it is and why okay but um, whatever is happening with a the family there is going to be perfectly alignment of uh, um, energies with the family that is going to be bring bring it back a positive alignment in your life and this is going to be good so 
we are now going to be looking at what is going to be transpiring um, with uh, the different um, people we have the king to see what is going to be um, affecting you guys the night uh, page for me go no uh -uh. Empress a lot of you are going to be working on relationship partners relationship okay um it is really going to be an alignment of energies a lot of you are going to be working on partner relationships in whatever way they come up um you are going to be working with this relationship partnership relationship um marriages people who are in long-term relationships are going to be deciding to put more in their relationship okay so um let's look and see how this is going to be affecting um you guys um there is different energies that is coming up but we're going to be seeing how this is definitely going to affect you guys so be aware so first we look at career lab and um and this is just a mini reading so um you guys can check out uh, um the readings uh, the on-demand readings where there is just going to be more information that is coming out that is going to be um, helping you guys to move on and this is going to be actually very very good okay so be aligned with the energies and that sort of a thing so with career there's a lot doors of opportunities are going to be opening the energy with the flamingos some of you are dealing with the flamingo and that sort of a thing I'm seeing really the energy of regrets receiving something but don't want that thing that is really happening and coming in so um the young people there is situation with you moving forward some of you are leaving a situation behind some of you um, or turning your back on if your mother is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra I see you turning oh shoot snail <laughs> so be ready and aligned with these sort of energies um, that is going to be happening for you guys okay um, now um, this month we have changed up the readings and we're doing things differently and um, what is transpiring is that um we have two cards you're going to choose one of these cards whatever cards you choose has the alignment of what you need to work on in this month okay this is card one and this is card two now if you choose card one it is uh, um pray the ancient um titanic mother goddess original of all goddesses mother energy pairs for life okay so I'm using the deck from the Buddhist so if you use and you choose this card it is a beautiful card and you can call upon this mother goddess of all goddesses to come in I love the Buddhism and um, um, it doesn't really matter who you are you can always call upon these goddesses goddess and goddesses and if you choose this card look at uh, the information use this information as an affirmation in your life in this month and it's going to be good okay if you choose the second card we have the red dragon of the dragon and it is who dances in white musketeer art love is the most powerful force of all isn't this beautiful 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 so if you choose this card just call upon this energy this deity their deities or goddesses or goddess and call upon this energy and work with this energy in this month of uh, um in this <laughs> this month of june okay i'm sorry it's just so funny so um what exactly is happening here we are looking and we're going to be seeing 
um, and using the animal spirit guides deck also so you know your animal spirit guides and know that you have animal spirit guides and we have two energies again card one and card two whatever card you choose that is going to be aligning you with the energies going forward in the month of June so you can call upon the spirit animal at any time the white raven spirit trusts in the magic and you have the number 66 so some of you are going to be um, some of you are definitely going to be materialistic a line okay the white raven spirit is um, it's just the rape the bird just call up trust the magic that is happening for you there's a lot of magic that is going to be happening for you so you need to trust that so if you choose this card and that's why it's only two card you can only choose one or the other okay and even if you choose one and say oh I wish I had choose that no that's not the energy you should have worked with it's the one you have chosen okay so as we look at card two oh my oh omg we had 66 and we had 33 we can't re break these down numbers down because they're double numbers all double numbers are not being broken down okay that is a lot of things that a lot of people do do not know now you have number 33 so a lot of you if you choose this card the ascendance masters are going to be working with you and the eye princess and the ascendance masters are going to be working with you so whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring definitely there is an alignment of energies that is coming in the or spirit freedom is yours freedom is yours so obviously as i said sometimes we have to go through certain situations in our lives to, to find our freedom and definitely freedom is yours and freedom is coming out for you guys and this is going to be extremely extremely powerful okay so this is a wonderful energy that is transpiring with the our spirit as we look at um the um <laughs> the um ascendance masters we have card one and card two another number four energies so a lot of number four is coming up for you guys so 44 three times four it's the angels angels and guides are going to be protecting you and we have the gold and silver violet flame and ladies and gentlemen use this affirmation always use it if you are in a horrible situation if you walk in a building with there's a lot of negative energies whatever it is just said I am the gold and silver violet flame I am the gold and silver violet flame invite the gold and silver violet flame around you wherever you are and ask the, the gold and silver violet flame to spread the energy out okay so this is a really really positive month that is coming in for you guys it's going to be wonderful alignments of energy that is going to be coming in work with the gold and silver violet flame I've always been telling you guys about this you can come back stop the video read a card and do your affirmation I am the gold and silver violet flame and the last ascendance um, uh, and last card for you guys is uh, the number 29 29 is 11 so definitely if you choose this card you will be in the dream time traveling to connect with the intergalactic fleet okay so whatever is happening some of you are definitely in the dream time is going to be um, connecting with the intergalactic feet and it says the intergalactic councils which have been trying to explain to a lot of people and tell people about intergalactic councils of the 12 great masters make decision for the highest good of humanity and this universe okay because we live in different there is multiple universe okay but this is the universe that you live in and the intergalactic councils are a council of 12 great masters and these 12 great masters are from other universal um, um, solar system that comes and protect this um, solar system this universe okay so the council include um, master Marco um, Centillarian Jesus Ashra Lord Kutima Elmora um, Paul the Virtue Saint Germain Queen Yin 
Lady Nada, uh, Serasmus Bay, and Lord Maitre. Saying just any one of these names or all of these names is going to be aligning your frequency and raising your frequency to a higher energy vibration. Recognizing you are a multi dimensional beam. So if you had chosen this card, this is either going to awaken your awareness that you're a multi dimensional beam, or it is going to um, reconnect you to let you know that uh, there are multiple dimensions being so it depends on um, who you are as a person what energy vibration you're carrying then it says your guidance is to ask the universal angel by Yili to take you to the intergalactic councils in meditation or sleep and often to serve the universe this will greatly expand your consciousness so let's say and the affirmation is I visit the intergalactic councils in my sleep or uh, you know in my my meditation lesson this card could be for some of you who do not believe and do not have any information and it's, so it says and and this is it you have to choose one of these cards and if you think what for BS is she saying and yeah what are you talking about in multi-dimension and that sort of a thing and you choose this card now they're saying okay um, invite yourself or ask for an invitation to visit us and now you will understand and I'm telling you this um, a lot of people after reading the scar connecting with them is going to change and realize that there is multiple dimension and people who comes from multiple dimensions ladies and gentlemen I want to say thank you so much for being here thank you for the wonderful like shares and support let me know how this turned out for you I am wishing you a really wonderful positive month ahead namaste